Hello and welcome to this 11th episode of checking out DungeonCrawlers.org Gaming Jam Submissions. In each episode we are looking at four games of the 80 games, around 80 games in total, which were sent in for the Gaming Jam. And uh, this also means that we are halfway through now, we already are past the uh, winner of the Game Jam, but that doesn't mean that there aren't um, any good games left. So far we had a couple of really good games in every episode and I guess that will continue that way. So, uh, this time we will have a look at Rune Guy by Grovacious Claims and Rimbo Zendi. We will have a look at After the Light by John, Earthwalk and Habian666. We will have a look at RDF by Fidel TFG and Ivory Tours by Chim. And before we go into the uh, first game, I will um, quickly summarize what a gaming jam and what a dungeon crawler is. A dungeon crawler is basically a game like Dungeon Master, I have the Beholder, uh, Wizardry, Might Magic and so on, where you're moving tile base in a first person perspective, where you have some RPG elements, uh, combat usually, um, and uh, yeah, there are more stricter rules than that, but I think this already is enough to give you an idea uh, about what the type of game is. And uh, what's a game jam? A game jam is basically a type of convention, in this uh, case purely digitally, where people uh, get together making, um, uh, making games in a limited amount of time. In this case it was one week at the beginning of April. So after the time was up, people sent in their submissions and um, then they got rated and there was a winner. Um, we will not have, take a look at the sub, uh, submitted uh, versions of these um, uh, games, uh, but uh, we will have a look at the most recent update. So if a game wasn't uh, finished or wasn't polished and the developer decided, well, I like the idea of the game I made in the jam, I will uh, push another update, then we will have a look at the update. I mean, yes, it's not entirely fair, but in this video series I, I'd like to have a look at the, well, show you the most playable version of, of the game and maybe you decide, ah, this looks nice, I want to play it as well. And um, if it's nice now, then uh, you should play it and if it's broken now, then maybe not, right? So we will have a look at the most recent uh, version and with that we will start with the first game. And the first game is Rune Guy in uh, version 2. And before we uh, go into the game, we'll have a quick look at the submission page. So, this is the updated uh, version with a tutorial and oodles of playability fixes. It has been a better time, uh, it has never been a better time to try Rune Guy. Rune Guy is a game about drawing runes to cast spells and aid in your quest to find three magic hourglasses. These spells can be pro powered by yourself, your surroundings or sometimes even your adversaries. Step into the shoes of a confused mage lost in a dungeon as you explore the Blunder Engine's first product. This game is the invention of Evan Dixon and Patrick Redmond, who have come together for this production under the name Grovacious Games. Okay, so programming Evan Dixon, level design Patrick Raymond and uh, everything else is either done by them I guess or yeah, of course they also took some external assets. Um, so, programming and level design and game design, okay. And the art basically is exter external. And with that we will jump into the game. And here we are. And we create a new game, I guess. Uh -huh. Let's, get uh, let's get acquainted with how to explore. Um, okay, I need to hide myself. Um, the maze in which you stand, which is known locally as the Opidum. First, it will be important to learn how to travel from place to place. Um, indeed, how to use your own two feet. 
Move front and back with W and S, strafe, side to side, side with A and D, turn left and right with Q and E. Okay. Take a moment to try these out. Okay. You can also look about the area. Press and hold R to enter mouse look. Stop holding R to leave mouse look. Okay. There's a chair nearby. Left click on any object to select. Uh huh. A brace should form around the object. Spells are cast by drawing runes. Holding right mouse will enter into rune drawing mode. Uh huh. Uh, holding right mouse will enter into rune drawing mode. Yeah. Think of the screen as being split into four quadrants. The point where you begin holding the right mouse is known as the origin of the rune, while the point you release the right mouse button is known as the tail. The lines drawn between the origin and tail are known as the path. Okay, I will mm, quickly mark down the uh, colors and names. Brown, blue, orange, and Light blue. Mm -hmm. For example, the minor drain spell has an origin of Q1 and the tail of Q2. Take a look at the diagram. Yeah, okay. Thus, minor drain is cast by holding uh, the right mouse and dragging from the top left to the top right of the screen. Mm -hmm. Try casting minor drain by drawing the appropriate rune and then clicking on the nearby bat. Try casting minor drain by drawing the appropriate... Yeah, okay. Uh, notice that your essence in the bottom left of the screen may have decreased. This is because no item was selected when casting the spell. If an item is selected before a spell has been cast, it shall be used as the source of the spell so long as its essence pool is large enough. Every item and being have essence and depleting one's essence also depletes one's health. Only a rune guy can survive depleted essence thanks to his spells. Another important concept is that carrying of items, whether the items is item is strong in essence, a stat book or an objective, it can be grabbed. Let's try it out. Walk up to the chair and grab it. This can be performed on any selected item by pressing the spacebar when near it. The movement is feels a bit um, not rough, but it feels like the frame rate of the game is a bit lower it doesn't really feel smooth um, by pressing the space bar when you it's okay nothing happens ah select okay pressing the space bar ah. now try dropping the chair to do this simply I need to uh, reduce the volume uh, now dropping the chair. To do this, simply press spacebar. The chair will drop on the square you are currently standing in. Okay. You should now have an idea how to move about the world. Cast spells and select, it select and manipulate items. Let's learn about the menu system. Your starting spellbook can be accessed by holding V and shows each rune's name, shape and requirements. Try opening the spellbook. Uh, holding. Okay. Minor drain. Uh -huh. Essence blasts. Okay. Yeah. Q1. Q2, Q1, Q3, Q4, Q2. Uh-huh. Here, uh, yeah, that's all kind of cool, but I feel like I will not be able to internalize that within uh, like 15 minutes or so, even 30 minutes if I play that long now. So, this uh, uh, within this uh, um, time frame now, I can only give you some kind of idea about how the game is. Uh, okay. 
Trampling the spellbook. The main objective in Rune Guy is to find three hourglasses and a key. The status of these objective can be seen in holding O. So V was this thing. V is spell overview. And O is ah objective. Hourglass has key, okay. Your three primary attributes are Valor, Knowledge, and Guile. The current value of each can be displayed holding the C key. Uh huh. Stats. Next. Lastly, in order to save load or quit the game, you can hold the F key. Uh huh. Save. Load. Try holding F and clicking on save. Uh, okay, then uh, a Windows menu opens and okay. All right. Um, lastly, in order to save load, okay, in order to save. Ah, I actually need to save the game. Yeah. That concludes the tutorial, as it exists at this time. Taking into mind what you learned about Essence, let's pick your primary attribute. Uh, Valor aids in defense and drawing from one's own Essence. Knowledge aids in damage and drawing from items Essence. Guile aids in restoring Essence and draining... Draining Essence. Uh, no idea. Um, let's take this. And so it begins. That's not displayed because that's a Windows uh, window. Now get out uh, there and explore the Opidium. Opidum, a rune guy. Remember, you must find the three hourglasses and bring them to the cosmic door. Only then can you escape the maze. Okay. Uh, well, that's not exactly, um, nice graphics. Okay, uh, this is an enemy. Um, now we can press V to check. Let's cast a miracle beam. Uh, that was not working. Ah. Not sure if that did anything. Ah, I can actually... Mm, essence Blast. Uh -huh, so it's turn-based. Uh, let's cast, uh, let's try it again with a miracle beam. Ah, not enough essence, cost 250, oh, okay, 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 essence blast. Well, it's nice that you can actually have this displayed while... Not enough essence. Ah, okay. Minor drain. Uh, we have three. Why not enough? Okay, I think I died. I right, actually maybe we should kill the bat first. Uh, ah, yeah, because we are out of tutorial previously, it was actually killed. Um, ah. Okay, it was also blocking the path. No, there is... This one, this path is blocked. I can't move forward here. There's an invisible block, even though the chair is not there anymore. So it doesn't seem to be the... Uh, most polished game. 
Um, okay, let's do the essence blast. What was the inc incomplete? Inc mm. Need three. Ah, okay. Yeah, also when we are facing this thing. Yeah, I think there's some, some loop because now I, you have to spam moving back to get back of it. There's some kind of loop in there, which is not really ideal. Okay. Incorrect something. But if we drain essence, then shouldn't we gain essence? Major drain. Major heal. Light. Essence blast. That didn't work. I only read incorrect. Incorrect source. Ah, because... Ah, okay. Uh-huh. There's a shield. Yeah, but there's no inventory or anything. Yeah, what that did. Mm hmm. What's incorrect essence supposed to mean? Minor drain. Hmm. Not enough? Can't I use this thing now? Or do I need to drop it and then mark it again? That's a bit stupid. I mean, I can just mark that. That's also working. And I'm not so sure why I'm carrying this thing around. Ah, yeah. Yeah, not really great looking object there. You're blocking the path when dropping an item. Okay. Actually, there is the... Objectives, our glass is zero. Uh, did we get teleported or did it just appear st stuff there? Okay. Mm, not enough essence. How do I get essence then? Because the essence drain apparently does not give me essence for whatever reason. Major drain. Maybe I need to cast stuff on the, the these items. Not really. Hmm. 
Plus 4 Essence. Minus 4. Mm, Major Drain. Now we got something. I'm not sure what exactly is happening. Plus 10 essence. Minus 10. And then something is happening. I don't quite understand what's what's happening there. Maybe a combat lock or just having the... Um... Like the notes being displayed a bit longer so that you can contemplate about what they're actually meaning. Um, incorrect. So I'm using my own essence for that. Okay. Now I mark this thing. Which is still marked. Okay, and with that I'm actually damaging the enemy and gaining essence. So I need to... Can I take his own essence? Not sure, don't think so. I'm also not sure what what's meant with incorrect essence. And why I should pick up items uh, unless I want to... Okay. Mm. I mean, I can just drain them, right? So what was the reason for picking them up? Why don't I have... Do I have essence to do that? Okay, let's pick that up. Drop, and now I can go through the door. Ouch. Okay. Mm. Meh. Incorrect. Because I haven't marked anything, but... This is giving me knowledge. Not enough, but we have enough. No, we don't. It's 10. Uh, I feel like the... There is still like lots of polishing to... I think I'm, I'm looking... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I am. R and that basically locks you. It doesn't... Uh, that's basically a, a good example of what I mean. <laughs> I like... No, usually you should be centered back when you're moving again. But but these are like little things which are not working properly here. I mean... 
it's all a bit um un unfinished also right now if i'm moving uh, like what i mentioned in the beginning that it doesn't feel um like i have a high frame rate and this is also when moving because somehow like the level is loading in between tiles and so it's stuttering so i also cannot queue up the commands perfectly was well, now it works but before there was a now i can't i can't go forward because this thing is blocking that it looks weird it, it's um too yeah too unfinished and regarding the um the combat I also don't see, I mean there is this tutorial thing, but I don't quite see how it's uh, how it's adding any value. I mean besides of doing these movements here. But yeah, it does it does not feel great the the co the combat either. Um. It's just a place. Also, I would like to see what these items actually are. But, yeah, I can imagine that without an, um, without the tutorial, you would have no idea what you're doing in the game. Um, even with that, I'm, I don't feel quite, so n now because, probably because th there's some uh, enemy moving around, the movement also feels super clumsy. Yeah, but um, I will stop here. So yeah, with this game, I am I am not too convinced. <laughs> um, I think there's t too much to still be done to make it uh, a well-rounded game. Uh, there is yeah, it it needs more. Um, more meat to flesh out the these ideas they had i guess maybe i'm just i did not play enough but i doubt so um because i don't see like the added value of this and the polish of everything else is too low i mean obviously yes it's a seven day gaming jam and so on and you don't have uh much time for everything but um yeah, it does doesn't feel right. I mean, instead of having these items which you can take and place, they could just be like you run over them and have them in your inventory, and with that you didn't wouldn't have them blocking your way or like there are little things which which don't really work out, and which I would have if I was the developer, I would have simplified and. Um, so that they are, they appear to 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 um, or make a better appearance without having additional uh, work to do. Because I mean, just taking the item and dropping it is already stuff to do as a developer. So I mean, yes, in a in a f in the full game, it might have been a nice idea to be able to do that. But here, I don't feel like it's adding anything. So, yeah, that's it uh, for this game, which was Rune Guy by Groovacious Claims. Um, uh, Groovacious Claims and uh, Rimbo Zendi. Actually, weren't there like two names? Wasn't that one the company or something? Let me check the page again. Um, uh, yeah, even Dixon and Patrick Redmond. And I guess together they are Groovacious Claims. Go Groovacious Games. Alright. Yeah, maybe if um, they put more time into it and polish it even more. But I'm not sure if 
if that idea is carrying that much i think first i would need to see how what the like the core element of the game is which is actually fun because just like the um uh drawing these lines isn't is okay as a combat but it's not fun in itself i think there needs to be some some other core element to the game so uh let's move on to the next game which is after the light by uh john earthwork and habian 666 um, or their real names, Felix uh, Jung, who did level design, modeling, illustration, Jonas Ruhl, level de leveling design, texturing, programming, and Fabi Gimpel, composing. And this is also not the original version, uh, but a post-jam 1.1 update. Uh, saving in between sessions is now possible, and now every puzzle is solvable with just uh, the items from the respective level. Okay, so also sounds um, like a good change. Added more visual clarity to some parts of the game and two new sounds. Added an ability to the deflector item, which turns you invulnerable for a short amount of time. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, then there is additional thanks to Yvonne Lang, Elijah, Elijah Ruhl and a Colotta a Craft for playtesting and special thanks to Newt Overby or, or Overby, um, sorry if I butchered your name, whose dungeon crawler a toolkit for Unreal Engine we used and who provided an insane amount of support for your, our many questions. Um, yeah, and I think it's the first game using the Unreal Engine, and it's also like the biggest game so far. I think it was 450 megabytes or something. And when I just I didn't play the game yet, but when I started it, I also realized that the performance is uh, not great. I set it to now. It seems to be fine. Now this, like my recording is stuttering for some reason. I don't get any message that there are problems, but it doesn't look great. Like the, uh, um, I can just see it on the recording, which seems to be stuttering a bit. So I hope that the final video you see is, mm, is better and I will just play it on medium now to be sure. Um, movement, WASD arrow keys it's hard to read rotate is q and e okay interact left click pick up left click uh, use item right click escape and m or something and quick load is f9 okay start w s i okay Yeah, there was some stuttering. Okay, this is um, like turning is basically taking place at all times. And moving is if if you hold the key, you you keep moving forward. So movement is okay, but it's more or less um 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 a first person shooter type of controls which are just uh, made so that they are fitting the rules so this one for example didn't really feel great if i move here I turn two times i only wanted to turn once click okay uh-huh Click slot, uh, deflector, and now I threw it away. Uh, click slot. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Another item. Drop your weight. But we had some other area, right? Regarding the graphics, I I think it's okay. Um 
I'm not a fan of this effect. Oh, I guess there was some kind of trap. What was that? Stone flower. Mm -hmm. Use item. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. It showed me that I can heal myself. And I went back into the trap. You can also right click the item. Alright. And now I need to drop my stuff there. Okay. Maybe I can sneak out. Uh. Nope. Ha 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 ha. Okay. There's a mirror. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's named after the light for a reason. There is no light anymore. There are reflections. But I don't see shit. I feel that maybe on better graphics I could see more. That's not the case. Okay, never mind. Because I'm basically blind. I'm still moving. Not anymore. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm maybe that's a light switch. Please be a light switch. I don't even remember what the statues were when I just used it. Um, maybe I did something on that. No. What is this doing? Yeah, the double... T ah, there are multiple. The double ton is not feeling great. Ah, no, this, these aren't two. This left one is just a mirror. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Also, no options to increase the gamma or something. This is the 
the direction I'm coming from. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. There is another lever. Which is doing something. Uh-huh. Okay, progress. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. But I don't like the the feeling of um of just wandering in the dark not knowing what's around me. I mean, it's probably supposed to be a horror game or something, which is okay. But if I don't know where I can go to and basically I have to walk by noise, like if I hear the footsteps still, then I'm still moving. It's not the best feeling. Okay, a big hall. And here yeah, you can already, I think you can see in the video that it's stuttering now. I think in the, in the actual game it's running fine. And this was probably the first level. But I haven't seen any like combat mechanic or something. So, um, I mean, you're supposed to be able to die with, uh, there was a reflector thing. And we had traps, yeah. And I guess there was an enemy. Yeah, but just, if you can't see anything, it just doesn't feel super great. And now apparently we need to go do this again. Now we walked past that part, okay. Um, didn't it previously load into a new level? Okay. So I was killed by something, but I have no idea. Yeah, I personally find walking in dark... I mean, this looks nice, like, if, if you are now in, in this room and where you can actually see pretty much everything, it looks nice. And I still remember when I first saw um, Unreal, and there was one room in Unreal, um, relatively at the beginning, where, where some... I think you, you met the first... What were they called? Scary or scare or something? And this monster was in a room 
which had a floor with some um, reflecting tiles. And that was amazing. And it kind of uh, has a similarity to that. But um, I kind of feel that this is basically, basically the core concept here. It's like reflections of stuff, but... Um, Oh, what's this? I think life food. Okay. Um, but I don't quite see. Um, maybe it's just like levels and you need to find exits or so. I mean, I mean, it's. Uh, not a different concept with a Wolfenstein uh, 3D or uh, so where you just have to kill everything to find the exit but uh, you know what I mean like maybe there's just like a couple of puzzles pu couple of levers or so you need to press maybe there's sub levels but I really don't like slash hate this this scenario here when you're arriving in something and you don't know where you can go, where you can't go, and you don't see anything. Yeah, I think this is more of an adventure than an RPG. There might be enemies here. Maybe it's just a horror thing that they can kill you, but you can't do anything. I think there's my reflection. Maybe not. I'm taking damage, but I don't know why. And this is just not... Yeah, I think there's an enemy... Oh, killed me. It just doesn't feel great. There's some... Item. I can't do anything with that. The music is... Um fits nicely to the uh, environment. But yeah, I, I don't think that it's a great idea to... to have these um, pitch black passages where you don't know what's happening and then you die because that's also not frightening or so if you just die without without having anything inducing fear it's just okay I mean, it's definitely something different compared to <laughs> to the other um, submissions to the to the gem. There's another item, but right now I still have no idea when I'm supposed to use the items, or maybe maybe I could have used the the invulnerability when I was attacked, but I, I still had no idea where I need to go to or anything. So maybe I get stuck if I use that in the wrong position. And there's the there's two uh. Ah they are too light. Okay. Yeah, I, I really hate Wandering in the dark.
We have some light. Yeah, um, that's it for this game, I guess. Um, I guess you have some got some impressions about the game. It's about reflect uh, reflections and finding and about f finding what to do next. <laughs> I uh, don't quite. Um, it's it's definitely not my type of game i guess i really don't like this like not knowing where like what's the game area where can i go what do i need to do so um did not really convince me I think like from from probably I don't know what the Unreal Engine is able to do or what what you have in in that like standard settings when I mean when you just put together an, an uh, a world in a Unity for example it looks like um one of the very first titles we looked at might have been the Dungeon Dimension I'm not sure um but that's what i know what a generic unity world looks like i don't know what a generic um uh, unreal world looks like so i i, I don't know uh, what was like their design and what's out from the end coming from the engine but it looks um like tons of work to design this stuff here and i also think that from uh, like the the sound is fitting to the design so I think there is a lot of work went into this game. I just don't find it very um, appealing to move around in that world and to do th the stuff. <laughs> so um, maybe change a bit around, like regarding the gamma, or ma give the the player like a torchlight or something, so that you have a, be a better grasp about what you're doing. Um, maybe this like removes some of the effect of of the light they are playing with but on the other hand it might actually increase that because you might cause reflections on whatever your light source is then aiming at but uh, yeah that's it for this game this was after the light by John Earthwalk and Habian 666 and with that we will move to the next one. And this next one is Art F or so. Art F. It's not meant to be easy by um, Fidel TFG. My entry into the 2021 Dungeon Crawler Game Jam. Art F. It's not meant to be easy. And if the pictures are any indication about uh, the light in the game it's not looking bright <laughs> uh, this is a keep this is a keep it simple dungeon ah this is a keep it simple dungeon crawler well in the end a lack of time has forced me to cut many of the features that i set out to include from the start still it's a dungeon grinder that requires the player to work his way through a set of maze-like dungeons fighting zombies and trolls many aspects of the game have a uh, uh, game are random and generated at runtime this includes the player stats which are generated when the game launches if it's you're starting from level one a player starts and stats and items are saved between levels only. The player must complete the level to save. If the player dies, he will start next time at the beginning of the level he died on. The strength and other stats of the mobs are also randomly generated at runtime within limited ranges, as well as lighting and uh, traps each room or cell of the maze has a random value generated for it that is used to calculate map and player attack randoms during combat. So if you find you're not doing any damaging, 
move away and re-engage from another angle or you may not have better luck. Uh, that doesn't really sound great. Um, okay. So it's a random seed, but this the usage of that seed is very static, as it sounds like. M mouse and keyboard can be used to navigate the mazes. I would recommend using a gamepad instead. I don't have a gamepad. Good luck to everyone that entered this jam. I have seen a lot of really good entries. There are a lot of underutilized game designers out there. True. Okay. So, let's have a look into the game. Um, and let me start it. And we're in. You have been planning this campaign trip with your girl for months. You got the map, tent, food and everything you both packed. Uh, you park uh, up in a popular spot and start hiking out in the bush. After a few hours you spot a beautiful meadow, perfect for camping a few miles up the valley and decide uh, to leave the trail and go there instead of... While looking for the campsite you get lost, but after hours of uh, wandering you stumble upon a cool friendly looking cabin at the edge of the meadow. And this one was too long. Stay too long. You met the old wom meet the old woman living there and explain your situation. It's getting late, so the old woman asks you ask you both to stay for supper. You're a long way from the highway. You ask if it's okay to pitch your tent in the yard out back for the night, and promise to be gone early the next morning. The old woman agrees. It's not trouble. Uh, stay as long as you like. People don't often stay long out in these parts. It's a nice treat when people do uh, come wandering up here. 2 5 p.m. Okay, there's no into or story. I ran out of time and this is the most I could squeeze. <laughs> okay. And there was going to be this epic tale of a young guy sucked through a magical thingy to some alternative timeline. <laughs> Nah, lame. They've all been done. Okay. Let's start then. I really am out of time here. Phew, I'm done, I hope. Now enjoy my submission to the 2021 Dungeon Crawler Jam. Adaf, it's not meant to be easy. Well, at least we can hopefully see our way this time. I don't need easy games, but I need games where I, I know what I'm doing. Adaf by Fidel. Okay, controls. Gamepad, uh, left stick or WSD to move forward, backwards and turn. I space left mouse button to attack or interact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keyboard or mouse to scroll. Okay. No special keys, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Enter. Loading. Hold on a few seconds. Okay. Welcome, Adaf. If you want to survive this place, you best move fast. These mobs are not going to wait. For the, the, the This is also not going to wait. Okay. Die! Yeah, as always, real-time combat is not working great. Uh. Uh, yeah, I, I will hide myself here. Okay, this is the starting position. Yeah, it is too dark. A water bottle. Okay. A flashlight. Can we use that flashlight to to lighten stuff up? Yes, a bit. Ah, there's the trap. And a flashlight is already out again. It's also too dark, by the way. We're already half dead. Okay. 
picked up a key. So it is real time. And I just spam um, space. We have the hit points from the enemy here. There was a trap. There's another trap. A room eight. Okay, so there seems to be another trap. Maybe we can heal with that thing. Maybe not. Why do I need to... Select it before I use it? Okay, if I just quickly move over that, it's working. I'm not... I don't know what power is doing. It's also a bit weird that... Uh, actually, I think every time I hit space it's reducing that and the animation is not... Um, is not doing live stuff. Okay, that was not great. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try again. Okay. So I do nothing, right? Nothing happens to the enemy HP. Now I press space one time, I reduce by 10. Now I spam space. Uh. So spamming is definitely helping. The animation of the hand is not fast enough to keep up. Okay. Apparently, for that once, we need a key. Another key. Let me go. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. No, I'm gonna take that both sides and now the trap from beneath me killed me uh, of course I could be more careful and just clean out all the areas here yeah but I mean the comet really isn't feeling super great, <coughs> as you can probably imagine. Especially with the element of spamming stuff. Also, the movement sometimes is a bit odd. I mean, it is purely like tile-based and every time you click, you're supposed to move, but I think sometimes it doesn't. Okay, yeah, uh, sometimes it also needs to to calculate the enemies. There's the exit. Level completed. Okay, yeah. Um, it's not meant to be easy, but... 
yeah, there's also not a whole lot to it, I guess. Um, we probably saw everything in the game now. There's also some things which just need more polish, I would say. But I mean, it's the developer already wrote, like, um, ran out of time. And again, I think, like, less would have been more. In this case, it seems like the developer focused pretty much on the making everything random and making the yeah random element uh, random generator work i think we had that issue before with another game um maybe it was dreadful dungeon of danger and disaster i'm not sure um but it was also supposed to be uh, ra everything random but it was the, the, like there were no the the combat for example in that game also didn't work i mean this one works but i mean it's basically the besides of just clicking on an enemy which we also had this is basically the worst possible um combat mm -hmm. Die. Yeah, sometimes turning is not really working. That was... Yeah. Okay, so now we have corridors and not just rooms. I mean, the nice thing here is that we actually have like an, the mini map, which is nice. I mean, the like there are lots of elements in the game, um, but like here the equipment. But obviously, there are no items to wear. I mean, who knows who far the developer got was into implementing that stuff. No, I don't see any key. So sometimes when I turn, nothing is happening. Like here, for example, I turn right. Yeah. So I need to to definitely wait. Even though the the movement is instant, partially instant, there's a delay. If I move forward and then right, nothing is happening. Um, so the the movement is also not good in this one. I think it's the first game which is like has no movement like not the continuous movement between tiles which still has issues with uh, with key presses there's a flashlight why is the flashlight not showing up here yeah I'm not sure if I am supposed to find a key somewhere here or if this is basically game over because there just is no key available anymore. Either way, I would say we've seen the game at this point. So this was Ardaf by Fidel TFG. So as the developer said, 
he ran out of time. Um, I can't really stay, uh, tell much about like the potential of the game because there's no single idea which is standing out besides of this random element, but randomness unfortunately does not make any game great in itself. Personally, I'm actually a fan of procedural generation. I'm, um, I think it's very fascinating to look at Elite 2, for example, uh, or uh, Daggerfall. And Daggerfall is still the Elder Scrolls a game with like, it's maybe not the be best game in the series, but it's uh, it has, for me personally, the the biggest value of the series because of the procedural generation and, and the huge world. But uh, you really have to do it right to um, to have any advantage from procedural generation over handcrafted uh, stuff. And in itself, it um, there's not uh, a big value for that. So we are dead, and we will move on to the next game. So next up is. Uh, the Ivory, or just Ivory Tours by Chim. And Chim is... Uh, no, there's no real name. Or is there? Game design character art, dungeon layout, coding and sound design by uh, Thomas, um, or Thomas Morley. It's always an adventure with Ivory Tours. Explore a decaying starship infested with malevolent aliens in its dice uh, building a dungeon. Dice building dungeon? Uh, dice building dungeon crawler made in seven days for dungeon crawler jam 2021 a task with a cleansing a dangerous menace that has overtaken the ill-fated ss ivory tours your brave team must seek out weapons and equipment while developing the skills to use them against the dangerous monsters that crawl and swim these once beautiful caverns mm, crawl and swim Features guide your team of four through a labyrinth grid-based map uh, harking back to classic dungeon crawlers. Seek out 15 powerful weapons. Face five different types of enemy alone or in large groups that require careful tactics. Extend your character's skills through an innovative dice upgrade mechanic. Ah, dice upgrade. That doesn't sound great. Uh, allowing you to use difficult weapons to much greater effect. Well, let's see. Use a clues in the environment to locate hidden secrets where the most powerful equipment is concealed. I think we didn't have much of like concealed uh, walls or something so far. I think <laughs> developers so far have been busy with just making the games work. Um, and so no time for secrets. Touch screen or mouse control required. Touch screen. Okay, yeah, I guess it's working on tablet then. Drag weapons and equipment from the world to your character's hand slots to equip them. Drag dice from your dice pool over that equipment to use it. Okay, I hope that it's not real time. Um, uh, more icons showing on the dice trigger more powerful attacks when you have used all of your dice, your turn ends and the monsters will counterattack. Okay. More information about weapons, dice, and objects, enemies will be shown uh, if you tap them or hover your mouse over them. Some keys, uh, keyboard controls are also available. Uh, thanks a lot. So, movement and <laughs> spacebar wait for next turn. Okay. Will the game be available for other platforms? No guarantees, but I would like to make an Android version. Okay. How long is the game? A full playthrough is expected to take most players between half an hour or an hour. If you die in the jam builds, you will restart from the beginning, though, so that may make things take longer. I am lost. Sadly, an automat map and compass didn't make the cut for features that could be built in seven days. And this is like the difference uh, to the games uh, game we just saw, like, which had an automat, but which didn't have a combat. So in order to make the game work, I guess, focus on the combat instead. Well, well it did have combat, but... Um, not really fleshed out. With only a tens available, you will need to make some hard choices about which weapons to keep. Yeah, okay. How to get XP? XP is awarded for defeating monsters. How to spend XP? Drag dice into the upgrade station to retrieve that. Oh, okay. That sounds, sounds nice. And it's all by one guy. Okay. Um, that sounds very interesting. And when I started the game, 
uh, adjust the very first seconds. It also looked very interesting. Mission specification. Board the SS Ivory Tours and cleanse its infestation. Immobilize the ship and make it safe by any means necessary. Your team has been issued with one shoulder mounted safety lamp. Other weapons and equipment must be procured on site. Go forth in courage. Yeah, very, very nice start. Use these buttons, WSD, to move. Use the buttons, Q need to turn. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is clearly made for a tablet. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this is too big for anyone who is um, not blind for a PC. Um, so I will hide myself to make it visible there. I didn't want to roll yet. Okay. So we have... Oh no. Two, two ticky. We have t trick. And we have quattro. Nice, nice names, so that you can really uno, two, trick, and cuatro. So we can, uh, uh, we know which positions they have. Um, it's like uh, when I played FTL and named my characters, I named them Rocky, for example, for the weapon engineer, like rockets. And so on. So this is kind of the naming scheme. To attack, drag one of your dice over one of your hand slots. Okay. Um, let's... I have no idea what the faces mean. Uh, okay. Looks like this door is too tough for your fists. Find something else. But I only have fists. Okay. Drag weapons to your hands to equip them. Mm -hmm. Melee attack 4, ignore defense. Ah, so this dice only has 4 faces. And I guess the first 2 mean attack or so. Uh, ah. Ah, that was just a tooltip with... Where did I get the info from? No, I didn't see... Ah, here. Home station. Ah. Adds uh, icons to dice. You have one XP to spend. Maybe the tooltips, they should have a delay because that's a bit, bit much. Icons to dice. You have one XP to spend. Uh, healing ready. Ah, okay, I need to throw the dice into that tower thing. Uh-huh, now it's showing two things at the same time. This one has perfect movement. Oh, a dinosaur! Looks great. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, I can't use that thing anymore. So now I need to put punch him. Uh, okay. Phase one. I'm not sure what that is doing now. Maybe everything is just doing one damage. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, no, as I mentioned, the, the movement here is perfect. It feels absolutely great. The speed is, I mean, it, it might look a bit weird because it, I'm moving that quickly. But um, it feels great to move in, in that area, in, in that um, surrounding here, in that game. Also, you can... No, you can't. You can't hold the button, but you can quickly press it. And you can also, if you move forward and turn right away, the 
Like, the turn is not executed right away, but it's saved to be executed once we reach in, in, in that tile. And this is all just a, a very uh, um, small thing, but it makes a big difference in, in how the, the game feels. Mm hmm. I'm not sure if he's already in range. Yeah. Or she. Okay, so. What we. What I would like to have is an explanation of what, what the dice are actually doing. Like, what is this sup supposed to mean? Now I will attack with. Maybe the, the first one is just a random thing. Melee attack 2, melee attack 2. And we are ignoring defense if we are doing that. And if I am just dragging an empty one... Okay, let's, let's try... That doesn't seem to make any difference. Though that just did one damage. Melee attack and melee attack two. That actually did two damage. Swipe cards, melee cards. Okay. Can I pick that up? Ah, with weight, I actually get a um, completely new set of dice. Ah, okay. Drag and drop. Uh, like I had with the... Um, with the knife before. Card key, swipe card, melee attack. Uh -huh. There's something else, right? Yeah. Charge back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this interface here is just too big on the right side. That's a bit annoying that basically half the screen is gone by this uh, this display there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Swipe card. Wait a second. When we now use attack, it shouldn't do anything. Well, it still swipes, apparently. That looks nice. Like a glass water? Uh, uh, um, glass with water behind it or something. And there's a gnarl enemy behind that. We, can we attack it already? No. Ooh! Ignal! Okay. So this is showing both at the moment, right? Melee attack 4, melee attack 4. But we also have def defend. 4-4. Four, four. Four. I still don't know what I'm doing with the dice. Oh. But we can't... Get to the one yeah, ranged attack. Mm -hmm. Swipe. Okay, maybe not the best choice. But I also have no idea how to heal 
up. It's Icos to die, so you have 4 XP to spend. And we hear it up. I don't know. Um. Mm hmm. That didn't do anything. Ah, okay. It added one additional uh, point to phase one. So you can either have all dice with some stuff or try to focus it on one dice. Mm hmm. Okay. So I can basically already prepare before the, the fight to have the best possible dice. But I'm not sure how I can... Ah, okay, can increase our stuff now. Mm hmm And the first one is dead. Yeah, I mean that seems to be pretty much instant. Yeah, I still don't think that I have uh, any idea how the co how the combat is actually working. Regarding tech tactical choices and whatnot. Melee attack, but defending, for example, it's still. No, this was just. The, it still took damage. While this one did not. So maybe it just has too much armor. And with that, I'm dead now because I. Yeah. Okay, let's restart and try again. To attack, drag one of your dice over your hand slots. Okay. That did 4 damage because that's showing 4 damage. Yes. So maybe that means any dice is 4 and this like knife symbol is also in addition doing ignore defense while these ones should do four attack then if uh, if I use the sword icon mm -hmm. also healing already Okay. Okay, let's let's 
check the I mean I can't see Ah defense one. Okay. If I draw this here, I should do four damage. Is that correct? Or two times one because I do two damage and it absorbs one. So that means that this should do now because this is only one time but it ignores the events but it should do four damage okay i think i got it um this is any which does still do two attack then and then uh defend one yeah okay i understand healing ready yeah um so it makes sense at the moment because we only have one weapon to specialize in just one dice to focus to to maximize the use of that dice i guess Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, swipe card. Ah, uh, okay. Can can I go back? Yeah, I can. Let's re-roll. So in theory, we could also roll until we got the super dice there. Like this. And then as soon as we get the enemy... We will just use that, and this should do 8 damage now, which it didn't. This should do 8 damage. I did, okay. We will get hit now. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, because that one was ignore defense. Yeah, of course. But that means that two swords on that. So three doesn't doesn't help then. So if we use that. Uh, well, this is just a single one, anyways. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's improve that further. Okay. Ouch. Okay. So this one is now interesting again. What happens if we use that? This should really be smaller. I think that's taking... At least this row here should be gone. It's taking up too much space. And we are actually move. We have backgrounds here, like the the. It's not like with these games where you only have like a quarter of the screen because everything in the screen is there. But it feels weirder if you have the 
level showing and then at the same time hiding behind that thing. I don't think that two two daggers on the on the dice actually make a difference. Maybe there are items which are using more. Aha, uh -huh. quantum merit. Melee attack, defend, two, okay. Can we heal with this thing now? Ah, healing radiant 20. Mm hmm. I will still try to experiment with that and just stack it up. Okay, it does not seem to be just tiles. Yeah, we're already losing. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. It's dead. And we are dead. I guess that healing is not an option then anymore. Healing in 18. Zzz, let's see if we can heal dead people. Yeah, we can. Of course, this is still annoying. And of course, we will also just die now again. And I should have moved the weapon to another character. HP. Okay. Can we use the heal here? 11. Mm hmm. Now, I should have probably just spread like the dice to different. Um, uh, use the upgrades for different dice. I think that's more valuable because I think these double icons they don't do anything. Oh, nice exterior. There we need another card. Here as well. Ah, and still took a hit. Yeah. Uh, 
That's not fair. Okay. Uh, zero XP to spend. We need all kind of cards for these. I should have, um, yeah, rested in between. Oh, Fragile Chanter, Consume Defend. Ah. Max Resurrect All. But we can only use it once. And we have got another card. Of course, this is also um, using up space, which is also not great. Uh, one XP. Card, uh, yellow card. Should be two attacks with four each. Ah, even on two different enemies, okay. Marching Chanter, magic attack, one all. Uh huh. Magic attack three all. I really dislike that we need to move past this attacking enemy again and again. Actually, this time we can use the. Was there something else? No. Key card. Ah, oh, no, we don't have the red one yet. And we don't have the yellow one either. Can we open that? Yes. Recall. Okay, but not helping here. Ah, okay, healing ready. So you can just heal up by re-rolling. Okay, if I knew that, of course. That makes it easier. Well, this probably makes it too easy. Ah, it's still out of range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. From here, yeah, there was. Hmm. We have to go there again. 
Okay, there we can... Swipey, swipey. Aha! Uh -huh. Bridges. Okay, maybe that was... Oh, okay, now we're dead. We can... Maybe I should have used the right item. Uh, mm -hmm. Magic attack. Boom. Okay. Healing up again. No more here. Ah, that's annoying. By the way, there's another key card on the other side. Can we reach him now? Oh. Yeah, okay. Magic attack is useless here. But there is definitely a tactical aspect to the to the combat. Okay, so uh, probably I should have turned around before and killed them. Okay. Let's go back, healing up. I don't see the point in in this um, waiting mechanic here. Maybe it was also not intended that way. I mean, there are a couple of things I would have done differently. Like this healing thing. Um, also with the with the dice, I mean it's nice to to put like um, to have this tactical aspect to use them um, correctly. I'm still not sure what the multiple like what it means if we have three phases on that because it, apparently it doesn't make any difference. Mm hmm. Uh, there is something to take. Mm. Ah, we can, yeah. So the the mouse over is basically going through walls. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's wait, get the weapons ready. Maybe I should also... I'm not sure if, if they are actually... He attacks every turn, so maybe also the... Um... The armor is not holding that long, I don't know. That's not doing anything. Okay. So what do we have here? Meditate Chanter. Reroll. Reroll all unused. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have any healing. Ah, oh, we have. Okay. This did more with the additional... Uh, ...points. Maybe because... I mean, two times... ...armor ignore is not possible, so maybe that's... Why did not so that the basic attack is only triggered once, but the additional attacks can be triggered multiple times. I need to check that again. Yeah, I should have. That's what's reroll. Ah, okay, reroll two. Reroll plus one. Uh-huh. Card key three. Okay. With that we... M yeah, the yellow card is still missing. Also getting to the point where I'm losing my orientation. Okay. Uh, I think we're just back at some other location where we were before. Uh. Ah, we need to... Bo to swipe both then. This is where we are coming from now. Maybe there was some other door left. There's also still something on the other side. Ah! Now we run out of space. Defend 222. Two, two. Um I guess I need to drop that item then. Okay, but that wasn't anything useful then. But we had yeah, some doors remaining here. I might have been here already. Yeah. Let's see if this one is a new door. Yes.
So there are th three daggers on that thing now. And I think we should get three or four attacks out of that. No, three, okay. Melee attack 5 for just everything. So. I mean, I can also use that thing more often. Magic attack 3, all. I guess I can. Well, ignore defense might still be good. Yeah, running out of space. So, who needs defense? Okay. And there's the fourth card. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely more I could do regarding to tactics if I use that for re-rolling the unused stuff and so on. Uh. Yeah. Attack! Mm -hmm. Defense, reroll all unused. Or reroll one. No, all unused. Nice. Well, maybe not. Okay, right. There was another one. Let's get some, yeah. All right. That looks evil. Ivory Tours engine overloaded, won't stop, needs smash. Dum dum. Mission success! The SS Ivory Tours is now the safest it has ever been. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was um, very, very well done. Uh, the, like, I think the explanations could have been better regarding the, like, the dice mechanic and the, um, the icons on there, like, what they are actually doing, how, how this is connected, basically. Um, but besides of that, like, the execution was uh, almost perfect i mean the uh like what you could see in the game everything worked perfectly um music was ni nice the was fitting to the to the environment i mean was not the uh overwhelmingly uh great music but it, it worked everything like worked together the graphics were fine um the enemies i mean it was 
easily uh, like done in a as, in a simple way with these like just these pictures you were fighting similar to i mean when i first saw the pictures on the web page it actually looked like uh, this other game re received even though it's completely different but they use the same type of like enemy just like a 2d picture basically but it works fine so for this game jam i mean it's a perfect solution um so yeah i mean the execution was and the combat the combat was nice has some tactical approach so um there was also that i mean yeah i mean there's is really nothing um f yeah for the uh, like what i would improve f on in the game is mostly just the uh, visibility like the items like one third of the screen is just gone with icons which are much bigger than they should be i would rather either have like the game size limited to just the side of the screen which is not obscured or just make the items smaller i mean the game is 3d anyways it's not like sprite scaling or anything like that so um yeah i think the like from uh, <laughs> this should have been reduced but otherwise i mean excellent and with that uh, we look back at the four games uh, we checked out today and just uh, well summarize them a bit uh, so the first game was a uh, rune guy by grew vacious claims or even dixon and patrick uh, redmond and um that was the game which had uh well let's say very <laughs> uh, generic or rough looking uh graphics um with these sprites where you had to f to kill the bat at the beginning and you had these uh you could move your uh, cursor to form the spells and i think this f spell casting thing was the main aspect of the game but i don't think that this alone could carry a game so um i think Mm, yeah there would need to be a, a different focus and um i think also that th the game was lacking a bit of of polish and f and did some elements like this dropping of items for example which uh was unnecessary and um didn't had had the game too much maybe if if you just focused on this spell casting and just simple level system you run around and cast on enemies that way i mean that would already have been fine you don't need to like take and drop these i, I don't see any of the added value by that the spell casting in itself is just a combat system though and an in itself not a very interesting one it's just i mean it's better than just clicking on the enemy but there is no tactical value or anything behind that so i think um there needs to be something else driving the game then the second one was after the light by john earthwalk and havian 666 and um that was the the game with which was just extremely dark uh and I'm not sure what it is supposed to be and I think it's some kind of horror horror game I think um what was this one horror game where you're also in in the dark all the I forgot its name uh there was some butcher something a machine machine of pixels or so was the second part it was also dark but in that case in these in the horror games you know that you, st you are in the dark but you still know left of you the wall maybe there's a monster in the dark which will attack you but you kind of have, have a feeling of what's there or what could be there and with this game it was all about you see light at the different spots somewhere but be, you had really this black and white you either had no idea at all or you you saw everything and that doesn't feel great if you also if if i mean if you're in a in a in a room you have um some idea of like okay you're going into into a um, uh, from a castle like a corridor you know okay it's not some um some situation when it opens up and there's a huge hall or something 
But in this game, because it was also abstract, you had absolutely no idea what's, uh, what is where. So this little section on the left, which is dark, could as well be a corridor to a lightened up room or something. And you had no idea or there could be tons of monsters or something in there. I think that was... Um, like the like the graphics with the reflections that looked um, Im impressive in some way. Also, the music was fitting to that. But I don't think that the um, the darkness was doing what it was intending to do. At least not for me. So I would have preferred to, like just increase the gamma. Just I want to see like. Or maybe, yeah, either give the player some flashlight or something so um, the player can illuminate some stuff and maybe cause additional reflections. Maybe have some like wisp types which are like flashes fr from, uh, from a thunderstorm. Like every couple of seconds everything flashes up and then you can see, ah, oh, there, there is the room or something so that you have some kind of orientation. But that way I just felt lost in, in the game and uh, yeah, the, the feeling of, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going is just not great. And then we went to the third one, which was Art F and uh, that one, um, yeah, I mean, as the developer said, was just not finished, very, very basic. Uh, you were in a randomly generated dungeon and spammed enemies uh, by clicking on uh, the spacebar and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I mean, as the developer already said, there are like a lot of ideas maybe in there, which wasn't apparent, weren't apparent to the player yet. I mean, there weren't any, there weren't, was no innovation or something besides of well, having everything randomized, but that alone doesn't carry a game. And the stuff in there wasn't uh, fleshed out yet. So, as I mentioned, like yeah, it's nice to have a mini-map, but if the combat is not working decently, then the mini-map has no value, basically. And yeah, then we had the last one, Ivory Tours, and I mean, that one was basically just perfect. I would have liked better explanation of uh, what the um, how the mechanics are working together, um, but maybe I was also just a bit uh, slow to learn that. <laughs> uh, I could have done a better job. I think with with the mass here, I think the heal management or the gen, the the one and the range ranged enemy at the beginning. I think that one was unnecessary. That one is causing unnecessary frustration. And I think the healing mechanic was uh, bad, and like the um, like that one third of the the screen is basically occupied by just inter unnecessary interface. Um, so these are the the things I would change in the game. But otherwise, like the execution was uh, pretty much flawless. Um, so. The dungeon design was nice, the the intro was nice, um, the combat wa worked worked fine, I mean there was, and, and there were no, no, no crashes or anything, like any signs of bugs, the movement was great, um, so yeah, Ivory Tours is definitely a game um, which I would recommend to check out um, if, if you also want to give it a try and see, um, I mean you've seen everything now here, but uh, that's definitely um, a nice entry to the jam. And uh, yeah, that were the four games uh, for today. Uh, this time only one game which I would really uh, highlight here, Ivory Tours. And, uh, but uh, yeah, there are certainly more good games ahead. So if you don't want to miss anything, then please uh, subscribe. Um, I don't know when the next video is coming, but probably in about a week or so. And with that, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.